let me tell you a story. Many years ago, the people of this land were lost. Every man, woman, and child had to fend for themselves. There were no families, no houses, no cabins, no tabins, no kingdoms, until a relic was discovered. I love playing. I love it because I'm a little boy. Ah. Two plus two equals I don't know. Ah. I hope to be important someday. Oh. The triangle, the equilateral frame, the trinity gong. Some said it was a gift from the heavens. Some claimed it was a forgery of man. Most agreed that whoever could ring the trinity gong had the claim to rule the kingdom. People came from far and wide to try their hand at removing the trinity gong from its home. None succeeded. The people of the land would come, day after day, and each attempt would end in failure. A great, mighty hero named Mordred, trained for years, traveling to faraway lands to wrestle she-bears and under Cretans, all to train his body to pull the gong out. But the power of the gong was great, too great for most men, even heroes. After Mordred failed to remove the triangle, he fled into the dark forest and much hope was lost. It seemed an impossible dream, and the newly formed kingdom was on the verge of hopeless separation. But one child was not swayed by the losses of those before him. With the power of the Trinity Gong, this child was given the keys to the kingdom, and so began the kingdom of Campalot. The gong was hung for all to see, and each strike would ring its heavenly chime, signaling a gathering of the people, and a promise of good food, comfort, and togetherness. The people lavished the new king with praise, and all was well, until the fallen hero, Mordred, returned from the dark forest of Avalon to take what he deemed was rightfully his. The Trinity Gong was gone. Without the unifying call of the Gong to bring the people together, the kingdom descended into chaos. Some blamed King Arthur for losing track of their most prized possession. Many fled the kingdom for fear of what evil forces may have control of the gong. The kingdom of Campalot was torn apart, and the people dispersed to other lands. All was lost. And no one has seen the Trinity Gong since that day. Fascinating. How'd you do that with your voice? <laughs> your voice, it was so wonderfully dramatic. Party! Merlin's so old that his memories mix with the future and his past with the present. Nothing really makes any sense anymore. So poetic, my king. Ah, yes. Where's my milk? Yes, sire. Old man, why do you have your blankie wrapped around your head? Oh, we're in story time mode. I don't like it. Please take it off. Besides, you know we were all there. Ah, yes, Arthur, my apologetics. No, that's King Arthur. My king. All right, sweet Percy. Here, take my milk. How much longer till we reach the forest of Avalon? Well, if we... Shh, shh, quite quietly now. Uh, sorry, sir. If we set it at first light, we should reach the forest edge by mid-morning. Looks like we'll reach the forest edge by mid-morning. For tomorrow, we enter the forest of Avalon. Tomorrow, we find that blasted Mordred, my nemesis. Tomorrow, we will find the Trinity Gong and bring it back to my kingdom and restore for hundreds of people. What's he doing? He's, 
He's monologuing. For I am the prince who was promised. I am the dude who was delivered. I am the guy. <laughs> and tomorrow, we take back the Trinity Gong from Mordred and restore my kingdom! Cheers! Don't do that, Percy. You scared me. <laughs> Percy? What are you doing down there? I'm sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Get it up. This is not a day for shame. Today is a new day. Today is the day that I find the Trinity Good! <laughs> I hate Avalon. I want to go back to Capulet. Oh, there's so many bugs and things. I heard a spider eat a smaller spider last night. I haven't had milk in days. And then last night, all we had for dinner was mashed potato noodles and cheese on bread. I'm ready. Hold on to hope, my gorgeous king. We'll get there eventually. Maybe we should ask Merlin if he knows anything about it. That miserable Cretan, why do we even bring him along? Well, under that thick skull and that cracked, disgusting body of his, he's a wise and cultured man. Even though he might be crazy and his face and his whole body are a little wrinkly and he's got some crazy looking eyes, He's the best magician of the whole kingdom. And he's got that magic wand. What? Ah. See? I am not a magician. This is not magic. The, the destiny, destiny rod. rod. Boys, this is just a metal rod. It made in like two seconds. But by using the power of science, it can be very, very useful. How so? I'll show you tonight, but this thing's got a charge. Charge? Whoa! Darn right! What magic? No, science! The rock's made out of metal, walking creates static, static creates electricity, electricity creates lightning, science! What a wonder. Who knows how it could work? He's right, you know. Who Show goes yourself? yourself. Show Who yourself! yourself. You are in the presence of the king. A woman? Nice. Not just any woman. I am Morgana. Morgana? I'm here to join your quest. I serve only you. You are the one true king. What is the meaning of this? What is your pierogi? Prerogative, sire. Prerogative. I know where to find Mordred. <laughs> she knows where to find Mordred? But, but how? I used to work for him, but he cast me out. I wasn't strong enough. 
Sounds like a problem I wouldn't have. He has the tools to incite a new kingdom, a kingdom of malice, where everyone must follow his strict workout regimen. You all will be cast out, and anyone who is weak will not have a home. He is untethered, and his rage knows no bounds. He's dangerous. He has the gong. And I know where to find him. Next time you scout the area, please make sure all of the bugs are dead. I'm sorry, my king. I'm trying my best. Well, do better. Okay. <laughs> Arthur? That's King Arthur. I believe we're at Mordred's lair. Wait. Everyone. I believe we're at Mordred's lair. Smell? Smell what? Just like in general. You smell it, old man. You're the one who smells. Oh, I'm not you wear too much oh. armor to make oh, you sweat no, profusely. No, oh, it's Your mother wear no socks that, and they smell awful. That's Sire, true. that is true. I saw her take them off. What? I believe that this is. Wait, this Percival. I believe this is the spot from which I took the Trinity Gong all those years ago. In fact. There it is! Sire, wait! Do that if I were you. I've been rubbing my feet on this moss for weeks now, building so much static electricity that one touch, you'll be burnt to a crisp. He's using science against us. We never should have trusted you. Oh, you definitely should not have. Shouldn't have had of. Shouldn't have had. You definitely shouldn't have. We're gonna get me the rope. Give me that leg, boy. It won't work, you know. You need to have more than strength to pull the Trinity Gong. You need to have honor, the will to lead, the heart to succeed. <laughs> All I need are my muscles, boy. And of course, one more thing. You, magician. Scientist. Hand over the destiny rod now. La, la, la. I'm not listening. Answer your king, wizard. It will never work. Merlin's resolve is twice as strong as yours, Mordred. Oh, well, maybe he'll change his mind after I destroy <gasps> his blankie! No! Yeah. 
That's it. Let's go, Mordred. Fight me one on one. I can take you in combat. Uh, nah. Oh, I knew this was a bad idea. Percival, this is all your fault. Sire, I. Enough! Behold, the might of a true king. Bring the gong, my king. Bring upon your kingdom. No, you can't. It's impossible. No, it's inevitable. I made it myself using... Science. Well then, where is the real one? You said it yourself, Morgan Stern. It's Morgana. Yes, Jakob. I'm as old as time itself. My past is my present, and my eternity is your future. I have known, and I have unknown, and this I have chosen to forget. But Merlin, why did you create a fake Trinity Gong? To protect the kingdom, of course. I knew that if an evil person ever got their hands on it, their evil kingdom would rise. I've been searching for it this whole time on our trip. I just can't remember where it is. So, you're saying you just forgot about the Trinity Gong? Yes! Well, that doesn't make any sense. You know what? A lot of this doesn't make any sense. First of all, you two were supposed to have this big battle that just never happened. And you, you're good like 10 seconds ago, and now you're completely evil. And you two, you have been weird this whole time, and now there's just no conclusion to your arc. It seems like we're just kind of rushing towards the end. He's gone mad. This man is speaking gibberish. My expectations were subverted. All right, new plan. Give us a clue! Anything! In the land of Turret! Find the Chappelle! I don't know what that means. Percival, can you hand me my fly swatter? These bugs are driving me mad. I would if I could, sir, but these ropes are just bound too tightly. I can't reach my pack. Oh, not even my mirror? My hair is a mess. No, I'm sorry, sir. The ropes, they just, they won't budge. Let me try breaking them again. You got this, sir. Oh, oh, it's no use. I'll never see my kingdom again. Don't give up hope. There must be a way. We just need to think. Oh, Percival, thinking was never my strong suit. It was yours. But sire. Oh, Percy, I've been a bad friend, and I'm just realizing it now, with me here, and you all the way over there, that I've really appreciated our time together. Together? Together? Huh? 
I just thought of an idea. Yes? If we pull on these ropes together, we may just be able to break free. Percival, I just had an amazing idea. That you're the most brilliant man I know. You ready? Yes. One, two, three, go! go! You oh. did it, sire. No, we did it. Now, let's go find this Torrance. Where to, Percival? Well, if we go through here and take this shortcut, we should get there before Morgana and Mordred. Perfect. And Percy? Yes? I owe you a milk. <laughs> <laughs>